Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to Family Channel Accused of Worst Felony. Um, th according to the thumbnail, I'm guessing he's going to be talking about the Ace Family. And I only know the Ace Family because of drama. <laughs> I've never seen their videos before. And I, yeah, I never really got into them. I didn't watch them. But I do know who they are according to like drama channels and stuff. Because, um... I don't know, I guess the guy, what's his name, Austin, is that his name? He wanted to box or something, and they were trying to sell merchandise, or they are trying to sell something, uh, and ripping their fans off, or something, something like that, I don't remember. And yeah, like, their kids are all up in the camera, and yeah, most of the things I heard were from drama channels, so that's how I know who they are. And I don't know if they did something new. I guess we'll find out in this video. I don't know what else they could have done that is worse. So, um, I don't know. Let's watch. And also, please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments. And let's start this video. I've been out of the loop for a while. Maybe because of a lawsuit, having to raise money for a lawsuit, having my firstborn child, and then suddenly the lawsuit was dropped. Then refunding everyone who donated money to me. Yeah, that took a lot of time. But we are back now. And also for my next video, I have an interview coming that I am still baffled in how I managed to get it. But since I'm now back, I started checking out what did I miss? And boy, did I miss a massive story. And before we talk about this, I want to make this is insanely clear. We are talking about allegations here, so take all of this with a pinch of salt. But out of nowhere, the Ace family has been accused of attempted murder. One could say that escalated from hosting half-assed events and promoting gambling to children. That is a, a whole nother level. But the person who dropped these allegations is apparently the ex-significant other of the brother of Austin McBroom. So the Ace family, one of the largest family channels ever, they've been on quite the downward spiral over the last few years, which is simply simply because they keep shooting themselves in the foot, which we've been covering quite extensively here on this channel. They're essentially the family vlogger laughing stock alongside of the Prince family. The most recent thing we covered from them was us flying all the way out out to cover their Coachella meets Disneyland event, which was essentially one of those traveling fairs you can find at your local abandoned Sears parking lot, except it was just in the middle of the desert. Oh, I feel like they would have gotten away with it so much better if they just advertised the event as a meet and greet with some traveling fair rides to kill time while you're waiting to meet the Ace family. The only thing I got from that trip was a serious sunburn. But the husband in the Ace family, Austin, has a brother by the name of Landon. Landon used to share a family vlog channel with his baby mama, Shiloh. And they got somewhat famous from being related to the Ace family. But the family vlog world, it's not only paradise like they try to make it seem on camera because they went through a very public and painful painful breakup. And now, after Shyla has distanced herself a little bit from the Ace family, she's now coming out with some wild accusations. And it's a little bit ironic because these people are kind of famous because of the Ace family and because of Austin's brother, this is all coming out and they're being put on blast. And being put on blast, that's an understatement for what we're covering here today. This is essentially Shyla trying to wombo combo what's left of the Ace family reputation. So it'll definitely be interesting if a lawsuit pops up after this. But the Instagram story says, stop playing with mine i be so cool you had three for money leave mine innocent you want to post my most private thing time and time again yes he be cheating yes her dumb ass knows yes they broke yes they had three via ivf to make sure it was a boy oh and how you tried to have security kill and Cole, what's his name, when that video came out. Yes, him and his dad do it together. Yes, his mama know too and support it. How do you even react to that? I mean, that is uh, some absolute... Wait, she wasn't, sus she wasn't specific, so um, I have no idea what she's talking about. And I have no idea who the people she mentioned are. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully, because uh, there's still some time in this video, hopefully they elaborate um, what she's talking about absolute wild accusations going on here. Um, so apparently Shyla is sharing all of this now because she's upset that Austin used her daughter for some content. She then shows a DM that she sent Austin that said, stop posting my kid, post your three content makers and leave mine out of it, dookie boy. You're really a dumb MF. Do you really need another lawsuit? Think about that. I don't even care to blackmail you or anything. Like I won't post any of the content of you at your little house you begged me for the footage of leave my kid out of it weirdo 
Okay, so um, I kind of think similar about family channels. Like, if you have a family channel and, like, sometimes your kids are in it, then that's fine. But if your kids are in it all the time, do they, like, force their kids to do it? Or do like, your kids actually want to be in the video? Because I feel like some, I've heard, like, other drama channels talk about other family channels. And they're, like, using their kids to make videos so that they can get, like, more views and... Like, basically, their kids are making money for them because they're, like, the channel. So I wonder if that's the same with them. Like, they're just using their kids to get views and make money off of their kids. Or if their videos are just them and then their kids are just in it, like, sometimes. So, as I said, I don't watch them, so I don't know. Um, hopefully, they aren't using their kids to make money in videos uh, hopefully they're just in the videos like randomly or something i don't know but yeah isn't it weird like if your parents are on youtube and you're in their videos won't the other kids at school see the videos and all the drama and stuff and like tease them or something i don't know i always wonder about that like if you're online your classmates can see you and then they can like i don't know when you're in middle school and high school they're gonna make fun of you aren't they that's what I feel like. No. Leave mine out of it. All I ask is to not post her because she deserves to live a normal, safe, private life. I've let this slide so many times. Stop playing with a mother. All right, this is probably going to go to court. But this is a understanding demand. I wouldn't want someone else to be posting content of my kid. That's that. Now, would I accuse someone of uh, of that if they posted uh, something of my kid? I don't know about that. I would maybe report them to the police. In other news, apparently the Ace Family boxing match is happening after all. We, it was canceled but now it's happening again on september 10th i'm not going i don't know how many others are actually going oh and speaking of posting kids um i know if you're the parent or guardian of the kid then you can do whatever you want like post a video post a picture but um i know other people they're not allowed to right that's why they blur faces of minors like in youtube videos and stuff if it's of other people but does this rule not apply to paparazzi because I know paparazzi take pictures of celebrities' kids, but they post pictures. Isn't that illegal? I don't know. At least in America, I think. Going. That'll be interesting to see. I wonder if the fighters will get paid this time. I don't know. I just started segueing into that because of how comfortable the other topic was, but might as well finish the topic while we're at it. Charlie did go on to make multiple videos to follow this up. I just want to be left alone. I literally don't bother anybody. I don't f nobody. I don't respond to no tweets. I don't throw no shade. I don't do anything. Stop playing with me when it comes to mine. And weird and continuously do things to spite me. Did you need to post my kid time and time and time and time and time again? You have three, you did not need to post mine. Again, I would be upset if someone was posting my kid as well. And if my kid was with people that she doesn't want them to be around, I understand the frustration here. But as if things couldn't get crazier, she's also- um, I also think it's weird how people, um, they always talk about their drama on like Instagram live or stories. Like, wouldn't you want this to be settled privately? I don't know. I guess because I'm not that kind of person I don't care about attention like I make videos and then I post it and then that's all but like I'll, I would never be on Instagram live like talking about personal drama like I would want that be, to be settled privately so I always think it's weird when people get on live and like explaining everything behind the scenes like do we really know do we really need to know about that also claiming that she's being threatened by them. So apparently her mother received this text. Let's do the thing where we stop talking about this family and that doesn't concern you. I'm not gonna tell you again, you don't want us to post all the footage we have, psycho. This is apparently threats that Shyla's mother received this morning. Remember, Joseph has it all. At this point, it's safest for me to keep this on the internet. It's scary how far people will take to keep me silent. It's been years of me being silent. I guess the mother replied, I think you sent this to the wrong person, but good to know that you are threatening my family. I will make sure to save this and proceed accordingly. The person then replied, threatening, no way. Mimic your daughter's actions every time she posts we will keep your daughter off the internet yeah. wait who's sending these messages is it the brother or i don't know 
That's creepy. That's really <coughs> creepy. And then she posted another text message that said, not the footage of you literally saying, making money off of using the Ace family's name multiple times, not the footage of you wishing Landon death from his cancer, not the footage of you yelling at your own daughter. And someone replied, lol, can you text from your real number? I don't have much to lose in terms of my image. I've survived, overcame, learning, and still learning. I will not be blackmailed, lol. Whichever one of y'all thinking you got tea on me, you're drinking piss. I don't care to live in fear, be silenced, or being held hostage by my past. I'm done with this little situation. Evil energy involved. Love, Shiloh. Well, speaking of every time Shiloh posts, they will post. Uh, Catherine posted a very long story responding to all of this. So she claims that her daughter is being used for clout. All right, so let's discuss this. Shiloh, I don't know if you know what clout is, okay? So there's a difference between clout and then family, right? So you got a family that's, you know, they're they're well known, they have a lot of eyes on them. And, you know, we started YouTube, we didn't know we were going to be as successful as we are. We did it with pure intentions. Everything happened so naturally and so pure and so real. I love my job. I love what I do. And you, Shiloh, you jumped on the bandwagon. And that's what you started to do. And you did it for many years. And all of a sudden, when your relationship ended, when Landon broke up with you, you decided that because it wasn't in your favor anymore, that you were going to decide that, you know, your daughter is clout now, which doesn't make any sense. I don't think she claimed that her daughter is being used for clout. I think she was claiming that her daughter was being used for content. And she just doesn't want her daughter being used for content on the internet, which I feel like is very understandable. Regarding that, I feel like it's reasonable to not want your... Wait, did she feel like this before or after she broke up with the guy? Because if she felt the same way before, then I understand. But if she th thinks about it now, like after she broke up and like she's not receiving the benefits of the name anymore, then... Um your daughter put onto a platform to be seen in front of millions. But here's Catherine's response about the serious allegations. Then you proceed and you say that Austin, my husband, has tried to kill somebody. That really pissed me off because that is so far from what Austin is and how he would ever speak and react. You literally have no idea who my husband is. You've never known us like that. And you, for you to just like say something so dark and evil is really scary. And um, I just find that that was completely out of line. And this is mainly the reason why I'm making this video is because you need to be stopped and you really do need to heal. You need to stop pretending that you're healed and you really have to look inwards and I can help you literally like I do not mind. So she covered one aspect. Uh, yeah, but, uh, also, if she's making false accusations about the Ace family, then uh, yeah, there's something wrong with her. I guess if she got kicked out of the family and now she's trying to get back at them, I don't know. Effect of it, but left out the big elephant in the room. So take that how you want. I am just very happy I don't own a family vlog channel because I would never want to put my kid through that. I feel like the whole aspect of making money while your kid is the full focal point of the video. We saw how bad it was for the child actors. How bad do you think it's going to be like 10 years from now when these kids grow up and we actually get to hear and see how these kids were raised in these family vlog channels. Yeah, isn't that what I just said? Like these kids are going to normal schools and those kids can see their life on uh, YouTube. They can find their friend on YouTube, see all the drama happening in their life. And then they come to school and then the like, kids are gonna make fun of them. I don't know, you know kids, kids are crazy. They make fun of you. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's good to post your kids uh, post all your kids drama on the internet channels i feel like it's going to make Jeanette mc especially if they're a teenager like teenager it's um especially high school they're gonna be bullied or teased curdy's story look not as bad which really really sets the bar for how awful it could be but Catherine's rant went on for like 15 minutes and the gist of it was essentially just flipping the script back at shyla she was just reflecting she wasn't really taking too much responsibility there she called shyla a liar and basically kind of denied everything then went on to try to justify how they could use shyla's daughter against her will in their social media content which I kind of find absolutely insane. But hey, what do you guys think? Oh, and I have an insane interview dropping for my next video. So you guys should stay tuned to that because I'm still shocked that I got this interview. But I'll see 
Okay, so that's the end of this video, and I do not like that thumbnail. And um, yeah, what do you guys think about kids being on YouTube videos? Like, if they're just running through the video, show up one here or there, that's fine. But if they're like the main focal point, all up in the video, they're the source of the income for the video. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, that's the end of this video. Please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to. And if you want to see my experiences in Korea, you can check out my first channel, Sexy V. And if you want to see what I do outside of YouTube, you can check out my Instagram and my TikTok. Both are Sexy V. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.